or down this end, I suppose it's different. It's different in a way, it's different to other parts you're going to travel, no matter where you go, it's a different land, different landscape. We're given the name as you look on the hills here now and take it in and take in the limestone rock and take in the walls to get all in. It's really the Burren taking its name from the Irish word Onviren, Onviren, which means the rocky place. So from here on in, you're going to see rocks, rocks, <laughs> and more rocks. <laughs> Lots of them, as I say. So if you have trouble sleeping in your accommodation, just close your eyes tonight. Yeah, you'll get there. Just count them all. We'll see. <laughs> sleep for you know between that and all the sheep we we'll see here so we'll take it in as we go down so when you look on this landscape what looks to be layer on top of layer on top of layer of a sedimentary landscape a karst landscape which was once upon a time I suppose a shallow seabed somewhere around where Uruguay would be today well below the equator that's where this land was so a warm shallow seabed made up of lime in which sea creature sea plant seashell mud brought in from rivers, compacted together over time and pressure. Yeah. Gradually forced together, pushed up by earth's moving plates, the hard rock pushing up against this and pushing it up to this height here. <laughs> so an area today of around 250 square kilometers we'd have here. Uh, the highest point just reaching over a thousand feet due to a burial mound on the top of it above Slave Elder. But so it was. So in this land here you'd see as a com compressed material, but soft material, once compressed it here, would also release. And when releasing, it breaks up. It breaks up. So uh, later on, I should be able to show you some good examples of, say, the Clints and Grikes is what we'll look